and I'm going to show what happens from turning it on. I'm not going to factory reset it, but I'm going to turn it on and show you where we're at at least. I manually put it back there in that corner. booted all right <clears throat> so since we're booted we want to test out and hear what the problem is we're gonna go into self check and we're gonna just we're gonna do the auto leveling right now that should that should just that should do enough I think even homing we're just gonna go back we're just gonna do homing real quick that seems even more basic so I'm just gonna click the home button right there in the middle. I'm gonna click the Z button first. Let's see if that works great. Are so good but it's really far over to the left it should be in the center right now so yeah I think it should be in the center so if I just start printing like with this I'm not too sure how well that will work let's I guess try to print something let's just click a benchy Guess I select. Want to put it in this one, I guess. And we'll just let it go. <clears throat> Undefined filament. Please, matching filament in CFS. I don't think I need to map it right now. First time right there. Shouldn't it be doing the nozzle cleaning like on the Swiping the jig there. I don't know why it's not. 
doing it over there. leveling. Oh, it's hitting the back while it says it's leveling. Oh, pork. That's real fun. Fuck. Yeah, printing from here seems like great idea. Like, it can go back and forth, so why does it make screeching noise like that sometimes? Like, why? Oh, I kind of just want to stop it at this point. Yeah, I don't know. Seems pretty bad. something at all I mean like if you see that shit it's like off the edge it's not actually even on point here it's just way over there off the mark entirely oh god yeah it's like I belong in the corner no you don't belong that far back in the corner dude yep that's not good oh it hurts my soul not do that before the CFS firmware upgrade. He's doing like a full bed mesh right now, I guess.
So I have to go through the entire bed. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's gonna take it an hour. <clears throat> to see if it even can vent something with the, all of this alignment issue stuff. Oh god. It's gotta be getting some sort of a reading. Printing air. Oh. I don't even know how to make it feed this uh, feed yet. Yeah, I'm supposed to be feeding this one into the system. But I didn't set that up yet correctly. That's well, you saw the issues, so besides it thinking it can print, it sounds like that when it tries to print air, 
doesn't matter if it's printing air, it shouldn't sound like that. K1 Max. Uh, hopefully we can fix this. <laughs> the only other item that I did with the firmware upgrade was I installed the kit with the CFS. So I installed this thing. I'm assuming I installed that correctly. Maybe there's uh, something wrong with that. Maybe some steps that I need to follow. Maybe I didn't do something right, can you please let me know so I can fix this and get back up and running. Thank you very much. The bed looks very flat, so appreciated. Much appreciated. Thank you.